we can we shall study about gothic church architecture in england gothic church architecture in medieval england developed from norman architecture gothic architecture is the term used to describe building styles between 1200 to 1500 such a large time time span meant that a number of styles developed within gothic architecture and it is common to divide these styles into three sections the building between 1200 to 1300 is usually referred to as early english between 1300 to 1400 the style of building is referred to as decorated and from 1400 to 1500 it is known as perpendicular the early english gothic style it is the early english period that the gothic style became truly adapted by english craftsmen and architects also known as the lancet and first pointed style the main features were the pointed arches the quadrupedite vaults lancet windows and clustered shafts of tall narrow pipes it emphasized simple almost austere lines preferring fine proportion to elaborate decoration cosmetic rather than structural with application of veneers on walls importance was given to decoration and ornamentation to space frames instead of soaring spaces and tall stained glass windows they had rich moldings and encrustations of polished shafts such as perbet marble walls used for grand buildings due to possibility of making patterns out of them buttresses the simple buttresses of normal period gave way to climbing buttresses these buttresses may be visible over the aisles but just as often were concealed in the aisle roof a variation of english early english buttress is the oxford buttress set diagonally at corner the lancet windows where the food molding that is the drip stone followed a pointed design echoing the lines of the windows small ornamental holes in the space between the molding and the lancet were given this approach is called plate tracery a plate tracery developed the small holes became more elaborate evolving into ornate trefoil and quatrefoil designs the towers were topped with steeply pitched roof often surmounted with very slender towers emerging from brooch or pyramidal base the most complete example of early english without a doubt to be seen at salisbury cathedral the westminster abbey is similar to french high gothic decorated english gothic other the common names used to refer this period are middle pointed curvilinear geometric and flamboyant these terms refer to the shape of window heads and window tracery which became much more elaborate the main features are elaborately curved tracery wider windows and better lighting richly colored stained glass increased use of bricks naturalistic curved carvings and pointed arches the buttresses the widespread use of the flying buttresses made possible the use of wider taller windows and with the increase in size came a corresponding increase in the decorative elements in the window head the ugi arch the simple geometric shapes of the early english period gave way to complex curves the ugi arch being the most obvious this double curve is the basis of most of the curvy linear tracery which became so popular during the 14th century vaults the vaulting of the early english period became lighter and short ribs sprouted from the main ribs to form star shaped patterns that were as much ornamental as structural the place where the ribs met became the focal point for decorative touches 
such as pendant knobs, grotesque spaces, or foliage. The lerin is a tertiary root spanning between two ribs called lerin vault or stero vault, named after the star shape generated by connecting lerins. A triceron is a secondary arch diagonal rib which spans from the spingers to the transverse ridge ribs. Perpendicular English Gothic. It is also known as the rectilinear style or the late Gothic. It is the final phase of Gothic architecture in England. The main features are strong vertical lines, very large windows with elaborate tracery, fan vaulting and hammer beam roofs. The chief characteristic of perpendicular architecture is the emphasis on strong vertical lines seen most markedly in window tracery and wall panelling. Fan vault. The roof vaulting became elaborate and ornate with a multitude of vaulting ribs spreading outwards in a fan shape, ornamented with pendants and cross ribs that served a purely decorative function. Buttresses, the flying buttresses reached its final graceful and highly decorated form with knobs, crockets and small pinnacles adorning every possible surface. Windows, the window openings could be extremely large and huge expanses of glass were created separated by thin curving stone tracery in ever more elaborate patterns. Window area was maximized while wall area was minimized. The result is lofty, open interiors of extraordinary lightness and delicacy. Hammer beam roof. The hammer beam roof is the wooden equivalent of the stone vaulting used in great cathedrals of the time. Hammer beam construction makes use of short horizontal and vertical beams to support the weight of the roof. These short beams rise in steps from top of the wall to the roof peak creating a more open space than earlier techniques allowed. Although the timbers which made up the supporting elements in the hammer beam roof were structural, they were also used as ornamental elements. The meeting places of timbers were often adorned with pendants or fanciful carvings. The timbers themselves were often painted and gilded. With this, we come to know about the main characteristic features of the English Gothic architecture. Thank you.